Hi, it's uh, Gregory Condes here. Uh, not that often in life do you get the opportunity to import Burgundy, uh, you know, because it's one of those uh, areas in the world that is very well traveled and, uh, well, you're not going to find many new producers that often. Though, you know, legends need to start off, or these producers need to start off somewhere and somehow, right? You know, there was a time when there wasn't an Henri Jaillet and or the Mayo Camuse was in the finance business prior to being Mayo Camuse. In this current in this case here, we're really fortunate because this is a new producer, his name's Philippe Sharon. And this is his debut vintage. He's coming out with three cuvées. He has a Chambol Musini, uh, Les Quarante Ouvre, uh, which means the 40 ouvre and Ouvre, just in case if you're wondering, is the area of land that uh, a man can work in a day. And so they have 40 of these called ouvres uh, spread over 12 different parcels in Chambol Moussini. And then he has another lovely wine called uh, Vont Romane, uh, Le Barreau. And Le Barreau is a Lyodie, uh, village level Lyodie, which is situated uh, right. Uh, in between Crow Parentu and Richbourg. It's, uh, as the uh, slopes go up, they go really up. And so this is on a very, Barreau means uh, the, the rocks. This is all rocky, uh, crinoidal limestone soils, um, which, are, which is the, the, the point where you start actually uh, changing to primo limestone soils, which is what you find in Romane Conti and such. Um, and those crinoidal limestones fun, fun, I mean, uh, are the same type of soils that you'll find um, as we go into Clos Because as you well know, Clos is the largest Grand Cru in all of Burgundy. And we all know that there's an incredible difference between the top part, the middle part, and the lower part. Uh, here in the case of Philippe Chiron, he's located at the top. And so he's right... Um, right next to the house, right under Eshazo. This is also Bajosian crinoidal limestone, which is uh, very different from the marls and the clays that you find in the middle to lower parts of this vineyard. And so Philippe Chiron inherited these awesome vineyards uh, from his grandfather who had given 60 year leases and Philippe Chiron uh, has been cutting his teeth in the wine industry his whole life. He, he's, a, he's a Burgundian who has a long legacy in the wine industry already. So you may wonder, what is Philippe Chiron's style? Uh, he follows the same method as Henri Jaillet. So what is that? Um, Henri Jaillet was a proponent for color, uh, softness, richness, and also for oak. Um, so what we find here is a completely 100% de-stemmed style, uh, which will lead for a softer style of Pinot Noir. And he does a cold maceration, also a, one of the things that Jaillet was a proponent of. And what that does, of course, is give you great uh, color. And then he does uh, fermentations in, in uh, cement and for a longer, in a controlled temperature situation. So he does a longer fermentation. He gets more extraction, a little bit more richness. Um, then he uh, puts a, moves it into French barrique, 50% uh, new, and finishes malolactic and ages it. So the 2011 vintage is completely sold out at the winery, and due to the great ratings that Jancis Robinson just bestowed upon Philippe Chiron, these wines uh, have now are completely sold out in the market. Um, although we are so lucky to be the first American importer of these wines into California and can't wait to see them on your wine list and for you share to something with the guests that they haven't uh, been exposed to before and take them on that journey that, you know, they're really going to love. And to be a great sommelier and to be a great uh, lover of wine and to take someone on a new journey and to share a new experience one that you won't forget.